Hello everybody, my name is Esnet and I'm here to share with you some of the things that I think might be helpful in your own personal grooming. So why is personal grooming so important? I believe personal grooming is very important to us these days because no matter what we think or no matter what is said out there, people look at you and people judge you right from the get-go. So first impressions do matter. So it is very important for us ladies to always look put together nice clean and smart and we don't have to spend a fortune on it this is going to help you open doors for you places that you go and things that you do i'll give you an example i'm in the business of beauty so if i'm not looking well represented and believe me it just is a nightmare sometimes i have an afro as you can see that needs to be kept well groomed and if i'm not careful and don't look after my afro it will look very unkempt and i won't look very representable so i have to spend a little bit of money on that and time as well to make sure that i look well put together i also have a skincare company my skin is not well taken care of which means people are not really going to trust my skincare company this channel is not about that skincare company even though i do share the journey as i go along but this is a standalone channel that I will talk about the things I love, things I like. We'll review some things for you. Whatever you want me to do, I will definitely do that if you let me know in the comments below. So without further ado, I hope you understood what I was trying to say there, that personal grooming is very important and it also affects how you're perceived in your community um, or in whatever you do. So if you want to elevate your life, you really have to elevate your own personal grooming from head to toe. You have to have well-kept hair, good skin i don't mean that have texture on your skin you can have acne that's fine because all that is life normal skin has ups and downs if you have a serious skin condition of course refer to dermatologists or visit estheticians who will be able to help you and give you regular facials use good uh, clean or natural beauty skincare that will help you as well get your skin to the place that you desire have your nails nicely done also, it doesn't have to be polished all the time. You can have it polished. You don't have to spend money. There are things that you can do at home to make yourself look very representable and just present the best you wherever you are uh, to whoever you meet and give great first impressions. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you exactly the products that I like and I have been using. I really have to get used to speaking on camera because I always like run out of breath i don't know why i need to have some sort of practices so if any of you know how i can do this please let me know in the comments below because i really need to practice not to run out of breath when i'm talking maybe i talk too fast do i let me know in the comments below so the first thing that i'm going to talk about and that i've really liked and enjoyed um is this here it's by avino i'm hoping that you are seeing it well there um, this is I think a new collection which is called the yogurt body wash and you I know some people don't like things with fragrances but I always think like if I, I mean fragrance is what I don't know fragrance is something that you need in life it evokes memories it it stays in your in your in your head you remember things because of the way they smell so to me fragrance is quite important in my skincare and in things that i use on my body of course i want it to be gentle fragrance i don't want it to be like a 10 percent fragrance and then i react because even though i no longer have very sensitive skin i do react sometimes when uh to to, to poorly formulated products so this one says it's for sensitive skin. I have used it and I have not had any reaction to it. It's not a completely natural product, but I've used it and I like to say normal to dry skin, daily moisturizing, and this is a body wash. I really enjoyed this and I did not have any reaction to it. Just a disclaimer, this is something that was sent to me by PR. I was not obliged excuse me i was not obliged to talk about this but it's something that i really liked i thought i would definitely share it with other people out there with other black girls and tell them that it was a good product that i enjoyed another thing from them that i actually am enjoying as well is their body yogurt and i think this is a new collection for them like this smells like food it smells like something you would eat it's really thick it's really luscious like i say it does contain fragrance vanilla i think the fragrance is vanilla in here 
but I wear this at night when I go to bed and I wake up in the morning feeling that my skin is still moisturized. I don't know about you, sometimes do you ever put on a, a body cream? Go during the sales, you know, the offers that Boots have, you will definitely be getting that for six pounds together. Uh, another thing that I have been using and liking was the Garnier Ultimate Blends. Well, the first thing that happened was this was sent to me initially, not this one, this one I had to go and buy for myself. I used it and I was really, really surprised. They say that you can use this on your hair and you can also use it as a conditioner. No, it's not a conditioner, it's a mask. So you can use it as a mask and then you can also use it as a leave-in treatment. So I started with body care and I will do a separate video on how to take care of your body the same way that you take care of your skin. So we're just going to get into skincare straight away. This is one of my favorite subjects. And before I even go into talking about the products that I'm holding here with me, the first thing that I want to say is you need a good cleanser. Make them two if you can. You need a good exfoliator. I always say use a chemical exfoliator, but there are some people who prefer scrubs. If I was going to use a scrub, I would prefer a very gentle um, coffee scrub. If you want a video on that again, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a separate video on it. So a good cleanser, make them two, like one cream or oil cleanser, and then another one, make it like a gel uh, cleanser, depending on your skin type. An exfoliator get I don't think you actually need a toner anymore get a, may, maybe a serum of some sort um, and then get a face oil and a face cream and that's all you need initially to start your skincare routine just make sure that your serum you have a right vitamin C for the morning and you have a retinol for the night and that's it so today I'm just talking about products that I think you might need so this is a cleansing balm this is from Boots I am not really that smitten with this one here um the packaging is very cheap and flimsy as you can tell but i expected the product to be a bit more you know robust and work it's nine pounds mind you so maybe nine pounds is very little money to have any expectations of the project and also the jar came half full if you can see so that means that they can reduce the packaging for this and make it smaller and reduce their footprint. Uh, okay, I've said what I've said. Um, yeah, it does the job, but uh, it's not a recommendation. Like it's not on my recommended list. I think you can add a few pounds onto this and get a way better cleanser than you can on that. But you get the idea, get a good cleanser initially. Um, if you can get two, depending on your skin type. Again, if you want another video to um, find out where your skin type lies and what your skin type is, let me know. We'll do that as a separate video. Um, two products that I've really, really been liking and I'll definitely say to you, if you're on a budget and you're looking for good skincare, check out Garnier. They really have this new range where their products are vegan, they are natural and uh, honestly, it, it's just, I mean, I could do a whole video on them as well. These ones are their vitamin C. Ample sheet masks and um, it says 1% vitamin C and pineapple, brighten and re-energize in just five minutes, dull, dull, tired looking skin. And I can, I can vouch to this. The one thing that I really like about the packaging is they've made it smaller. If you remember Garnier used to have almost like double the size of this. Um, they, their masks used to come in double the size of this and now they've made it, they've cut it in half, which is really good. And I think it's still under patent saying that whether the sheet inside it itself is um, recyclable or not. So we are waiting on that. Otherwise, I am really happy with this new vegan formula that they created and it comes in niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and all the good stuff. On to my hair. So I've been using Garnier as well for my hair, but if I did plug in Garnier again, you guys would think I'm biased. I swear to God, I am not being sponsored by Garnier. We're only a small channel. We're not getting any sponsorships anyway, but I really think anybody who's into good skincare good hair care check Garnier's um vegan range it's really good 
This one here, I had no idea about it. I went into the salon and I saw it. I looked at the ingredient list and I was, I thought, let me try it. Let me smell it for you. It has a, you know, when you know a smell and let me try and see what it is. If I see the name, I'll definitely know that's that. Yeah, it smells very familiar, but I cannot put my, my finger on what's the strong smell. But the oil is really good. Apparently, you're supposed to use it about three times a week from your scalp right to the tip of your hair. Um, yeah, and they say after um, observe results daily, gradually increase frequency from once a week to three times a week over the course of the first month. I have used this for at least three weeks and I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. I have not seen any growth from it, but I love the way my hair feels when I apply it. So we've talked about the hair, we've talked about the body and how important it is to moisturize your body the same way that you moisturize your face. Your body is essential, especially if you have dark skin. You know we tend to look ashy. Oils are not enough. You need a some cream of some sort or a lotion of some sort something that contains water that can hydrate and moisturize your skin and then you can apply the oils on top this is how it works especially if you have dry skin every now and again you can use an oil on its own but definitely need a water-based moisturizer or lotion and i think this is the last thing that i'm going to talk about is i found this in the drugstore this was five pounds this was seven pounds and well yeah i'm really taken aback because it's actually really good applies beautifully um i don't know how it's going to last or if it's going to peel very quickly my nails tend to be oily so the uh, nail polish doesn't tend to last on me so i'm not a good no, well, I guess I'm a good, if, if a nail polish really works, then I'm the best person to try it on because I give it a run for its money, I guess. So I'll have to feedback on that. But in terms of application and the way it looks, how glossy it is, definitely like them. And I'm glad it was a good buy. So this one here, which is the top coat, is called a uh, Super Speedy Top Coat by My Mood. Um, was seven pounds and this one is uninvented vegan long wear nail polish again really nice and glossy i have no idea how it's going to last if it's going to last me a day and then start chipping that would be a bummer but i hope not i hope you found this useful and if you would like to see more videos about beauty and skincare let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and Leave a comment below, it really helps me, it just motivates me. At the moment, I have no expectations at all. It just motivates me to keep creating these videos that I create. Thank you so much for showing up. Take care of yourself and take care of your well-being. I'll see you again soon.